Good morning, Bill Hurtado with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. Kind of a cool day today. Uh, today it's my pleasure to show you a unit I took in on trade day before yesterday. This is a 2021 Airstream Globe Trotter, excuse me, Globe Trotter Model 30 RB. This Globe Trotter has a few more standard features than say the International. Uh, next one down. I'll go over those as we look at this thing. Um, many of you know that you've watched my videos. I've done several Airstreams. We are not an Airstream dealer, but this is a good indication of a state-of-the-art Highline towable RV that we would take in on trade because of the lineup of units that we do carry here. Newmar, Winnebago, Renegade, very high line uh, luxury units. So it just goes to make sense that we would have a high line luxury trailer here come in on trade. So great opportunity for somebody that's looking for that state of the art, absolute best trailer built on the planet right here. So this 2021 Globetrotter uh, is really a fantastic rig so some of the things that are standard on the globe trotter that you won't find on other airstreams in this 30 footer we do have two roof air conditioners on top hence we have the 50 amp service available for this thing uh, you've also got the full window awning package and the power awning those are all standard features with the globe trotter Airstream is unique in many ways. And for those of you that don't know, I'd like to just point out a couple of things. Uh, first of all, your, your Lexan front window covers up here are near unbreakable. You can throw a brick at this thing and it bounces off. So uh, Airstream's done a great job with using the absolute best materials they can when they build their, their units. This will open up out this direction and your, your uh, uh, rock guards over here, which are stainless steel, not the 65 thousandths aluminum, those will open up the opposite direction so you can clean in behind this stuff. So very nice the way they've set that up, made it very simple. This unit does come with the uh, power tongue jack already on board and it has two uh, really nice batteries up here in the front. These are the Battleborn 100 amp hour Life Pro batteries. So these are really amazing. They last a long, long time. They're uh, just goes hand in hand with what Airstream does. They put the best of everything they can in all of their units. So let's talk a little bit about What's different with an Airstream over a conventional travel trailer that you would find anywhere else? The towability is the number one thing. The reason an Airstream tows so nice behind your vehicle uh, is due to three main reasons. One, obviously we have the aerodynamics. So this cuts through the wind much nicer, doesn't succumb to side winds. Uh, giving you a sway problem. But beyond that, we have a very low center of gravity here. Airstreams are built with 50% of their weight from the floor down. That being said, you have an incredibly wonderful uh, low center of gravity, uh, great ballast on this thing. And this being the wide body, of course, everything's a little bit wider in there. So your stance on the road is really much better. The other thing that makes it really nice here is Airstream uses independent suspension with torsional axles. And these are uh, axles that have shock absorbers on them as well. If you take a peek in there, you'll see the shock absorber absorbers actually go sideways on this thing. And that is because the mechanics of the torsional axle, the way it moves, gives it its ability to have shocks on there. Um, so independent, this is gonna move on this side. If there's 
bumps in the road where the other side will not. It's not going to transfer from one side to the other like a solid axle would. Uh, so just really amazing. So the three things, the aerodynamics, the low center of gravity, and the independent suspension. Those are all really wonderful attributes on the Airstream. It's a cold day today. Uh, it's kind of gloomy, but I did bring the awning out because I wanted you to see the color on this one. This has the matching window awning package all the way around. And I didn't open the window awnings on the other side. They're basically just exactly the same as this. I did open one on the back so you could kind of see that. So very nice. When this awning goes all the way up inside there, your awning light still allows some light to come through because they put it back against the trailer side instead of at the end of the awning side up here. So nice feature there as well. All right, so moving along towards the back here. Airstream has been doing some things consistently for a lot of years. And I always like to make mention to this. It, it may not seem like a big deal to you, but look at any other conventional travel trailer. And let's take a look at one little thing like, uh, like the housing around the taillights. These are a solid aluminum, very thick, heavy duty base for your taillights, which again are all LED inside and out. That's gonna outlive all of us, no question about it. Very well built. Uh, the fact that everything is riveted together, no conductive connection between inside metal and outside metal, except around the entry door, allows for uh, temperature to uh, remain within your desired setting inside versus outside. That could be heat or cool. And speaking of heat, I did turn the heat on here a few minutes ago, so it should be nice when we get inside there. Airstream, for again, for many years, has been putting this extra little storage area inside the bumper back here. Of course, you'll notice the bumper extends away from the body quite a bit right there. And this one's already set up with a bike rack attachment. So that makes it nice for that. And then for security, you've got three compartments on the outside of this thing that you can store items that you want to be, you know, uh, keep a little more safe. In there, you can see the jack handles for the leveling jacks or stabilizer jacks and the 50 amp cord. 50 amp is necessary so when you're at that park or perhaps running off a generator you can run both air conditioners off 50 amp all right i mentioned the window awning package so over here i didn't bring these out but quite simple tool opens that up right there these pull down they hook on the hooks down below this unit is a true four season unit in that you've got heat going into the insulated area where your tanks are down below. So great full-time unit right here. Especially with this floor plan. This 30RB is an amazing floor plan. And when we step inside, if you haven't seen this before, you're gonna see something really incredible with the way that Airstream has designed this. So I'm quite impressed with them. You know, I, I like to mention little things that Airstream does. To, just this little attention to detail that you won't find on a lot of rigs. Like for example, a light out here in case you wanna you know, be out here hooking up at night when you get to your destination. They color coded the handle so you know exactly what the black and gray tanks are right there. This little hatch right here, not plastic again, like you find on conventional travel trailers. This is gonna be where you hook up your 50 amp cord. And of course, there's adapters available to go down to 30 amp or even 15. You can come straight off of here with a short adapter down to 15 if you're storing this thing at home and you just want to keep the batteries topped off. Outside shower. This is where you're going to hook up to city water outside. And let's talk about hooking up. Uh, the RV industry kind of intends for people to back into or pull straight through a space for their hookup. And you're always gonna find all your hookups over here on this corner. 
be it motorhomes, trailers, fifth wheels, it doesn't matter. They're always back over here. So what you've got over here is your sewer, electric, water, and in this case, even your cable TV hookup. You notice there's two coaxial cables right there. This can actually accommodate an outside satellite antenna, so you can use that for your entertainment inside as well. 2021 Globetrotter. This is the first year that they've gone to the tankless water heater, so much more efficient, much faster recovery, on getting water to the faucet, everything. So very nice system there. Glad to see they've done that. All right. So beautiful. It does have uh, three large solar panels up on the top. I'll show you the controller when we go inside. This front shaded cover right here does open up and so does that window in behind there. And speaking of windows, when we step inside this thing, you're gonna see this magnificent view. It's got big windows going all the way across the front, down the side, and of course around into the bedroom as well. Something Airstream's been doing a long time. I like to point it out. This is a fully welded, thick gauge aluminum screen door right here with the guard down below. This is really strong, really, uh, really nice for keeping pets inside there, but they're not gonna whine too much because they can see you through there. All right, how about this? This is my own term, super lounge. This is so great. It's monstrous, so you can seat a lot of people in here get really comfortable if that's your desire to have that many guests. I'm gonna move back to the bedroom so I can point out a couple things back here. You saw all the windows up front. Of course, you've got large windows on the sides and then the full wraparound view through the back over here. So front or back, you've got this excellent 180 degree view. That being at both ends, you can see all the way around this thing really easy. Airstream builds the majority of everything in this unit themselves, including the cabinets, the doors. Uh, really like the way they've done, again, some attention to detail here. In these cabinets now, things can get kind of trapped in behind here. And if you're not very tall, it's kind of hard to get in there on some of the cabinets just to see what's down there. Well, they put this mirror in there so you can see all the way back to this inside edge back here. Just simple little things like that make it so user-friendly. I mentioned the two air conditioners. Of course, this is zoned front and rear, so you can have those at different temperatures if you so desire. Uh, you may not want it so cool back here, but much cooler in the front or vice versa. And these air conditioners are ducted through the entire ceiling through these vents these rectangular ones are intakes. And what's really nice about that is not just the evenness of cooling, but the amount of noise that you get out of those. It's extremely quiet running the air conditioners. So that's kind of a nice feature. You don't have that fan blowing all the time while you're trying to talk or watch television or something like that. Um, you can't see it right there, but there's a single control right here. We're going to take a look at that. Uh, this is the entire uh, heating and cooling aspect is all through one uh, central area right here. So be it my heat pumps in the air conditioners or the air conditioning itself or the furnace, I can do everything from one spot right here. You want to change your temperature at night. You don't have to go traipsing through the entire unit, get out of bed and walk away. It's just right here next to you. So very nice. All right. So great lighting in here, TV in the bedroom. This is what we call a split bath. So if I may, I am going to show you that Airstream has done a nice job on the bath right here. 
I'm six foot tall, still have a little bit of space up above right here. I can get the job done. It doesn't take up a lot of aisle space right here, so I think it's really the perfect size. They've really matched this to what people are expecting. They're expecting to be able to out, uh, walk through the aisleway here much more often than they tend to be in here washing up. Also, now they have an integrated sink into this one-piece fiberglass shower. So if you want to sit down and get cleaned up, you can certainly do that as well. There's a separate light for the shower. The bath is really nicely set up right here. So storage shelf up above, fan up above, air conditioning, two vents in here as well. So this doesn't get up to a real high temperature in the, you know, on those hot days where the rest of it stays cool. Very even through the whole thing. Porcelain toilet down below. You've got slide panel, opening doors, lots of storage in this thing. And let me just step back a little bit. You can see the way that sink juts out from the corner gives you a lot of depth in there for extra bathroom storage. Nice job, Airstream just, they really know what they're doing. Always a step ahead of everybody else. Okay, so this year, 2021, I know it's 2023 today, but in this vintage of 2021, this was the largest refrigerator that Airstream has used. It's a 10 cubic foot. So the beauty of a 12 volt refrigerator like this is unlike a RV refrigerator that runs on uh, gas or electric, this doesn't have the coils in the back taking up a third of your space. So you have full depth. Even though the outside here appears to be about the same size as a normal fridge, you have much more uh, storage area inside there. So you can carry a lot more food with you. I'm a big fan of 12 volt refrigerators. Again, let's say three things, maybe four, that I love about 12 volt fridges. This coupled with the three large solar panels up on the roof uh, means you can boondock out in the wilderness for days on end and not worry about your battery being depleted down to a level where things aren't gonna start working. It's always gonna stay above that threshold. You don't have to have this unit level to operate this. Whether you're driving down the road, parked, hooked up at a campground, it doesn't matter. It's always going to work. Speaking of working, an important thing to me is you can start this refrigerator and it's cold in an hour. Uh, a regular absorption style refrigerator is going to take about four hours to cool down. And, you know, it's, it's nice to have it ready to go immediately. I guess the fourth thing would be someday, and maybe it's 10, 20 years from now, but someday you're going to have to replace this thing. Every refrigerator needs it eventually. This is about a third the cost of an RV refrigerator. So lots of reasons why 12 volt is just the preferred method to go with on refrigeration right now. So this floor plan, this 30 RB, unlike the 30 foot uh, in the international series of Airstream, um, you have exceptional space in the galley right here. Now the International actually gives you five or six inches bigger galley space over there. And that's great, but what they've done on the Globetrotter here is they've expanded the size of your pantry over here. So instead of this pantry being half the width like you would find in the International, it's gigantic in this thing. So great storage and that is just, kind of priceless in my book. I, I think it's something every unit should have is lots of pantry storage. Okay, so over here we do have our three burner cooktop. 
and I don't mean to sound uh, redundant. I know I mentioned this a lot of times, but a three burner is really the preferred way to go. You'll notice you have a large burner here and two smaller ones. For you uh, engineers out there, that is a, uh, these are 5200 BTUs, this is 7100 BTUs. The nice thing about a three burner is now you can get that big 12 inch skillet centered right here and still have two sides. With a four burner, it's near impossible to do that. This particular unit does have the convection microwave combo down below. And if you choose to go with a conventional oven, remove that. It's a simple drop in, simple changeover. So uh, very nice. You can have it either way right here. I love these cabinet doors. They work so nice. Uh, you see how you're lighting up above your indirect lighting. So it's not constantly in your face like these are. Also lights up the cabinets in behind. Once again, we've got that mirror back there to see what's going on. They do have a built-in trash can holder over here. That's even a cat as well. There are two covers for the sink. It's a much larger oversized sink as you can see right here. And Airstream is really nice the way they finish out their drawers. Everything just really comes together nice and looks sharp. Lots of galley storage in this one. Little extra trash can space. Oh, sorry, wrong one. There we go. And then down below here. So even a little cubby for some spices and stuff if you so desire. Television front and back. Um, down here, we've got some controls. So we do have a 1600 watt inverter on board right now. We do have our monitor panel over here that's going to tell us what tank levels are. We just got this in, so we haven't got everything emptied out of it yet. And then uh, over here, we have our solar controller, so we can always see what that's doing. It's even getting a little bit of charge on a gloomy day like this, which is really nice. So just to go back and talk about this again, I love the fact that I've got this incredible view out this thing. I can close off all my windows as I want, but to be able to have this kind of vision from inside your RV is really phenomenal. They do a great job with their windows. Of course, you have shades that pull down on everything. These are very secure the way they lock. And you have three different positions you can go into for your jealousy style window back here. So I'll go into the center position to show you. So that's locked down really nice right there. Excellent airflow. If it's raining, I can have it in this position right here, not worry about getting soaked inside. They just do a nice job. They have for a long time. All right, now up in the overhead up over here, once again, you see that's illuminated because of my indirect lighting up there. I do have, I didn't mention it on the back because the window awning was down, you probably didn't see it, but it does have a backup camera mounted on the back. This is the monitor that's gonna go in your vehicle. You change vehicles, very simple, you just put the monitor in the new one. So it's a suction cup that holds that down right there, or you can get an optional bracket for a permanent mount. You got your Blu-ray player built in here, charging point ports for USB. Uh, you've got your Bluetooth transmitter right here, which is really fantastic. That thing reaches a long ways. So playing off your phone or some other device, you can certainly do that. So really great setup. No need for the mirror over here because you can get to everything, but once again, there it is. All right, I think that pretty well covers it. Uh, this is a great opportunity for somebody to get into the absolute best towable on the planet today. Uh, this 30 foot, it's a 30 RB 2021 Airstream Globetrotter. I love this layout. What a fantastic 
arrangement, the way they've done the, the windows and the lounge going all the way around. Once again, Bill Hurtado, TransWest Truck Trailer RV. Phone number should be right down here. Please give me a call. I'll give you all the specifications on this. I'm happy to work out a trade-in for you. Uh, this is a, a great chance for somebody to have the absolute best of the best. So if you're looking for a towable, give me a call. Thanks very much. Appreciate you watching.